Tonight's next question came from a slew of you, asking if you're going to have to prove that you're eligible for the vaccine when your time comes. Will providers be asking for proof of age or your occupation or your medical condition? Or is it just the honor system? State Health Department says it's basically the honor system. I mean, once you're outside of clinics that are hosted, like at a site of employment, like a hospital or school or something like that. Now, individual uh, providers of the vaccine, they are allowed to ask for documentation if they choose to do so. Like the state suggested that maybe they would require a, a pay stub for an occupation-based eligibility. Anecdotally, though, you've told us that this is not happening. That you're just getting the vaccine, no questions asked. Along those same lines, we are getting some feedback asking for guidance on what to do about people you know who are weaseling their way into the vaccination system early. A viewer wrote in about a family friend who admitted lying to get a vaccine early before she went on an international trip. I hope the show does not become like Dear Abby, uh, but your email did write in and ask me about the moral question here. Uh, this person whose name I'll hold on to said, my wife and I are disgusted by her, the friend's lack of moral compass. Should we report her in some way? Concerned in Colorado, that's, I'll, that's what I'll call you, stick with the Dear Abby theme. Concerned in Colorado, here's what I would say. I think that focusing on individual people who cut the vaccine line distracts from the larger issue of vaccine inequality. Because as supply ramps up, there should be enough vaccines and the more pressing issue is gonna be getting vaccines to people in underserved communities there are always going to be dishonest individuals who lack the moral courage to stay within the bounds of the system. I say let's focus our energy on the larger goal. So I guess what I, I would tell you concerned in Colorado is that she's your friend and she's only going to remain your friend if you decide that. She made her choice. Now you get to make yours.